Hey guys and welcome to this new video. Today I want to talk to you about my internet, what my current setup is like and how we will improve it. More after the intro. Enjoy! Let's start with my current internet situation and why I am dissatisfied with it. Currently I have cable internet from Vodafone with a 550 connection meaning 500 down and 50 up which is generally acceptable. However, it is indeed cable internet, and I don't know how many of you have used cable internet before. I must say that my experiences have been rather difficult. Especially during peak hours, when everyone is online, my upload can sometimes stagnate, and that is really very, very annoying. Additionally, I have also experienced small micro outages quite often, which have made me extremely dissatisfied with my current setup. The only advantage is that the cable connection is almost directly in my office next to the server rack that I have installed here. If you would like to see a video where I show you the updated parts in my server rack, feel free to write that in the comments. In any case, the cable only has to cover a relatively short distance. However, I have now decided to switch to DSL and give it a try. Unfortunately, we don't have fiber optic available, otherwise I would have chosen that option. The DSL socket, on the other hand, is two rooms away. The only advantage is that when I moved into this apartment, I completely equipped the place with cables. I'll link the video for you up here. In any case, this means that network cables are running throughout the entire apartment, including of course in the bedroom. Now I thought to myself, if I'm switching to DSL, I might as well do it right with what I consider to be a very, very good router, namely a dream machine. Ideally, it would be best if one didn't have to connect two routers in series, because somehow the DSL coming from the line needs to get into the dream machine. Unfortunately, the dream machine cannot process DSL natively. This means that one would either need a second router, such as a Fritz box, or in my case, a so-called modem. It does nothing more than convert the DSL into a network, which I can then feed into the Dream Machine and connect to the network using the normal internet access credentials. In order to solve the spatial component now, meaning that the DSL arrives in the bedroom while I have the network cabinet in the office, and of course I would also like to have the Dream Machine, I have come up with the following setup. I also ordered a small switch from Unify in addition to the Dream Machine and would now like to have the modem in the bedroom to essentially convert the DSL into LAN. I would then like to connect this to the Unify switch, come out of the switch or the Dream Machine and connect it to the actual internet input of the Dream Machine, thus providing my internet here for the apartment slash office. So I would say let's first unbox the Dream Machine, which I received in this very, very inconspicuous package. So that was the quick unboxing. Here everything is lined up. One important item in the box was the Flex Mini Switch. I have to say I'm really surprised at how small it actually is and the Dream Machine Pro which I will now set up here. So the Dream Machine is more or less finally installed and I would say let's get started with the setup. For this we need the Unify app. I will simply open it here and ideally it should recognize the new Dream Machine in the vicinity via Bluetooth. We can click on Setup here then we can name it and proceed. Now he is testing the download here, then the upload, and then we can move on. It is already configuring itself automatically, and that's it for the setup. As you can see, the setup is completed in what feels like a minute. Now it is automatically downloading a firmware update in the background. Theoretically, I could also have a notification sent to me when the update is finished. However, I will take the opportunity to connect the switch already. I have done that here now. So here you can see the modem already connected, Basically, the DSL comes in here, it arrives, even if you can't see it very clearly now, behind the cabinet, and then goes in here. Then we have the network cable from the modem. It was already pre-configured, so I didn't change anything. Once connected here, into the Flex Mini, from which a cable for PoE also goes out, up here, where the access point is, which I have not finished installing yet. Additionally, a cable goes over to the office USAND and another one to my television. I still need to install this properly here. On the other side, the cable comes out of the socket here, goes into the switch, and from there this cable goes into the goods entrance to connect everything. So, the setup is complete. All I had to do was create my Wi-Fi network, reset my internal network to the old network address, so that all devices would remain as they were, and keep my static IP addresses the same. Then I took advantage of the fact that I have two internet lines and connected the second line as a backup so that if one of the two lines fails, the other remains available redundantly. 
And what I also did was switch from the stable release to the beta release because the new I'm version of the Unify OS has WireGuard integrated by default. This means I now have a VPN tunnel that goes directly to my router, which is also super, super convenient. So if something happens with my home server, I can still access the router via VPN and potentially adjust some settings in the home network. I'll show you a few videos of how everything looks in my rack right now. It's not fully wired yet. This is mainly because I might want to take the opportunity to test whether, instead of just a redundant solution, I can also create a solution that is both redundant and speed enhancing, given that I have two internet connections. The key word here would be bonding. If you're interested, definitely check out the next video. I will roll out the whole topic and possibly test it together with you. A bit of hardware has already arrived for this, so this will definitely be very, very exciting. Lastly, just briefly, why I chose Unify in the first place, because I could have easily taken the simpler route with, for example, a Fritzbox. However, I got myself two Unify 6 Lite APs, which are access points. I have had this running here for quite some time. And the cool thing is that you can easily integrate these devices into the Dream Machine. Simply plug it into the network and they will be automatically recognized. You click on integration and all the settings you made in the Dream Machine Pro will be automatically transferred to the devices. So the Wi-Fi network will be automatically created on the access point. On my two access points, this means that you automatically have a mesh network and can also change settings. For example, the frequency, signal strength, and so on. Create a guest network. This is done directly on the Dream Machine itself and the settings are immediately transferred to the access points after saving. What I also find very cool is the statistics page. You can see quite accurately how much data volume you have used, which devices consume the most, and what those devices did on the network. So you spent the whole day just watching Netflix or simply surfing the internet a lot. And with Unify Protect, you even have the theoretical option to connect cameras and record them directly on the hard drive of the Dream Machine. If you would like me to make a complete video about the Unify Dream Machine, completely separate, where we take a look at all the settings, please feel free to write that in the comments. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even found it helpful. If so, I would really appreciate a rating and I would say, see you next week for a new video. Until then, take care and goodbye.